how's it going? My name's Maddie. Today I wanted to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Byron Koala Sofa Bed. Uh, when I did buy it, it was called The Beautiful, so if you're looking on the site, it's either going to be called The Beautiful or The Byron. I'm not sure why they renamed it after I purchased it. So one of those two, Beautiful or Byron. So um, I just before I get into unboxing, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the shipping, how long it took. Because, uh, so Koala, it is an Australian company. Now they are also have a, they have a location in Los Angeles. So if you're in the US, you can go ahead and buy a Koala sofa bed. Sorry, those are my dogs. <laughs> those are my dogs just hanging out. Um, so to start off, when I ordered, okay, so I ordered July 21st. So that wasn't that long ago. So I ordered July 21st got a confirmation email July 21st saying that the order went through then I had it got shipped to me July 25th so let's go ahead I just want to look at this calendar so July 21st was a Sunday then they uh, shipped it the 25th which was a Thursday so it took one two three four counting the 25th took four business days for them to ship so that's not bad at all it just got delivered today today is the 30th and so it took less than a week. It took one, two, three, four, five days for it to get shipped. I live in Idaho, so it's not that far from Los Angeles. So if you live um, like on the East Coast, it's probably gonna take like a full, full week to two weeks to get to you. So just keep that in mind, uh, just depending on how quickly you're gonna be needing a sofa bed, like if you have guests coming over. So just keep that in mind. So this is the room it's actually going in. I'm gonna go ahead and have to move the dogs out and bring the boxes in and I'll show you guys what the boxes look like. I don't know how well you can see this but it is a total of five boxes so I have a long one right over here that's sort of off camera so that one is what I'm assuming the like mattress part of it is going to be in. Um, what I really liked about the koala sofa is that it's advertised that it only needs one person to set up. It takes about 30 minutes and you don't need any tools. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these off camera just so you don't have to watch me unboxing it. Um, and I'll try to get clips of setting it up just so you can see how easy it is for yourself. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and uh, unbox this right now. Okay, so I got most of the boxes opened up. I just wanted to show you something that's so cute. So everything is individually wrapped in like this, this shrink package. It's, everything is well packaged. Um, so I'm not afraid of any like tears or stains on it. Cause like seriously, every single piece is individually wrapped. But I wanted to show you, look at the warning label. Look at the cutest little koala on there. That is so cute, cause Koala brand, Australia, so cute. I just wanted to show that to you. Also, um, as I was unpacking, I still I still have the sofa packed up, cause that's gonna be the last thing. Um, my husband pointed out to me that on each box, it tells you what's in that box. So, let's see. This one, oh, it's not gonna <laughs> probably be able to, be seen on camera but this one says koala byron sofa bed seat cushion front beam so that's what's inside of this box right here and also each box also um how many times can i say also in one video uh they do have i almost said it again <laughs> they do have qr codes on it so i'm gonna go ahead and time myself actually on my phone to see how long it actually will take for me to set it up so I'm gonna go ahead and time myself on the phone after I get everything taken out of the shrink wrap because that's it's gonna take a little bit I think but yeah so I pulled up the QR code on we have another device an iPad so I'll be watching the um, tutorial video for that and how to set it up I really wanted to do a time lapse but this camera does not have the battery to um, record me for like 30, 40 minutes, however long it takes me. So I will just check in periodically and let you guys see the progress. 
everything is finally unpacked. I got all of the shrink wrap off of it. And um, also while I was unpacking, I found uh, printed out instructions as well. So just in case you don't have a device um, where you can scan a QR code, don't worry, because there's printed instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer as well. And I'll see you back when it's finished. If I run into any problems, I'll go ahead and show you guys too, so you know, um, just in case. As you can see, I am almost, almost, almost done with setting it up. I have uh, the bottom boards getting put in. What I noticed though is I was attaching this um, this platform pullout. Oh, this was the most frustrating thing. So it kept catching and I noticed it wasn't going back all the way. So this side, let me get a little bit closer. See how easily, easily that one slides in. But this side over here, it was catching. Let me try zooming in a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, you can see how close it is and it catches. So before it wasn't even going back at all. So what I had to do, I actually had to take a hammer, kind of hit, um, sorry, it's so blurry, <laughs> hit right up here just to get that hammered in. So now it's still rubbing but at least I can get this part to close all the way. Sorry, my camera takes forever to zoom in and out. Anyway, now I can close all the way because before it was stopping right here. I had to hammer that part in, now it can go. It's finally done because of me doing it all by myself and also since I showed you that issue that I ran into that took a decent amount of extra time to try to figure out what to do it took me just over an hour so an hour and ten minutes to get this thing set up by myself but it's done so my husband and I are gonna plan to actually use this test it out for the week and then I'll come back and tell you guys what we think about it Last night we went ahead and pulled out the sofa bed. I got it made up. I wanted to say I also put a mattress topper underneath and it is so ridiculously comfortable. It's, it's seriously so comfortable. Um, I'm actually excited for guests to come over and sleep on it now. The only thing I guess that I noticed is that the texture of um, this material, it's really not that soft. It kind of reminds me, um, like if you were at a hotel, kind of like those accent chairs or like little extra couches that they have. It's kind of like that scratchy material. I wanna try to, uh, I think you heard my knee pop, get closer so you can kind of see the texture. See, it's like slightly fuzzy. It's just like, it's like a scratchy material. It's not, it's not terrible. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it's, it's not that bad. Anyway, yeah, it's super comfortable. And that was just the first night of having it pulled out. So it's actually been a couple months since we uh, first got this and put this together. Uh, we did have a couple guests stay over and they did sleep on this separate, separate, two separate guests. Um, I didn't ask both of them, but I heard back from one, which was my brother. He said it was actually very comfortable. He liked uh, sleeping on it. You know, it's a nice queen size bed that when it folds out. And my husband and I also wanted to like sleep on it just to see like what our guests would be experiencing. It is, I want to say like almost as comfortable as our actual mattress that we have upstairs. It is so insanely comfortable. Um, what I want to recommend is buying a uh, like a mattress topper. We just got a memory foam mattress topper, like you, it's a queen size from like Target. It was like forty bucks. Um, so just keep that in mind because it is like the mattress that folds out. There is going to be like a little bit of a I want to say like a little bit difference in level that you could feel that the mattress topper does just help and it makes it just a little bit squishier because it's. You know, since it's also a couch, it is like on the firmer side of the mattress. Um, I want to say 
all in all, it is very comfortable. I do find it more comfortable as a bed than as a couch. Um, it's just very, very deep as a couch. So I, <laughs> I don't really have enough room to angle this so you can see. Here, you know what? Let me try this. But I don't know if you could see like how deep that is. So when I sit down, there's probably six inches in between my back and the back of the couch right now. So I found I actually have to have like a really nice firm pillow to have behind my back. And even then it's still kind of far back. So sometimes I have to do two pillows um, if I'm gonna be like sitting on the couch for a while. And usually I do, cause I do homework on this couch. So I'm literally sitting here for hours at a time, just like on my laptop doing homework. Um, so that's something I wanted to bring to your guys' attention. Also, again, I know I talked about it before. I wanted to talk about it again. Um, the material, it's really not that soft. Um, the more time I spend on it, just touching it, the more time, uh, or sorry, like more often than not, I find like really abrasive. It feels like plastic, sort of. Like, I don't know, like a plastic filament that's woven in there or something, but sometimes it's just like poking out and it's really scratchy when I run my hands over it. And it's like so annoying, I wanna pick it out and I find myself like picking at the um, the material of this. I don't know why it's so, it's really scratchy. I'm not a fan of it. And it's hard because it's literally, everything except the mattress is made out of this, it has like this material on it. Um, it just, I don't like how it feels. I really don't like how it feels. Um, so what I do is I just take like a blanket if I'm gonna be here for a while and also <laughs> I wear long pants on it because it scratches my legs up and it leaves like this texture on my legs when I get up if I'm not wearing long pants it just not a fan I'm just not a fan of this texture at all so just put a blanket on it if you're gonna be like laying on this for a while so usually I'll have, I have like two queen size blankets here. So I'll have one like across the back and it'll, it'll just come and like also take up this space as well. Um, another thing I notice when it's in the uh, couch position that when you fold the mattress back, there are only two Velcro tabs that are holding the, the mattress folded into place. There's one tab here, one tab here. They're not that big. The Velcro is only like four, five inches long, three inches wide. It's really not that big. And the more time like I spent like being here on my computer, I noticed that the mattress started slipping out. Like it started wanting to unfold and I would have to take everything off and undo the Velcro, push it, fold it back further and then push it down on the Velcro. So that's something that I've noticed as well. Um, Let's see. I also have two large dogs that shed everywhere, everywhere. And I was really worried about their dog hair with this material. I was worried it was just gonna like, you can probably see I have dog hair in my pants from them. Um, there's actually some dog hair on it right now. <laughs> but what I found is that this couch is so easy to vacuum. So um, I don't know what material this is. It's it doesn't like, like, um, the hair will stick to it, but it won't like get into the fabric, which is really nice. Um, because you know, we're primarily going to be using this like as the bed, uh, for guests. And I obviously don't want it to be covered in dog hair or like this part, the part that their head is going to be next to to be covered in dog hair. So, um, I was really, really, really really happy about that that you could just like easily take like the vacuum attachment swipe it on there and it'll just take all the dog hair off very easily you don't really have to go back and forth and work on it just a couple times and then it's gone so i'm very happy about that um all in all would i rec <laughs> recommend this uh purchase to somebody i would say yes even though there are some things that Obviously, I don't like like the material that it kind of slides a little. Um, you can find ways around it, you know, like with the blanket, you just have to keep readjusting it to make sure the Velcro is adhering. Um, I would say yes, honestly, because this is so uh, handy, honest, like 
you're able to have a space for your guests to sleep in, and then when you don't have guests coming, because guests usually don't often, or, or, sorry, guests don't usually visit that often, uh, you could just fold it up and then you gain so much space back in your room. You're able to use it as a couch yourself. If you want, use it as a bed. It only takes like a couple minutes to turn it back into a bed. It's just, it's so easy. It's really easy. You're saving so much space. It's very easy to put together, to, uh, to take apart. I put it together all by myself. Um, very easy. And I can't remember, I need to look back. I think it took me like an hour or so to put together by myself. It's just like, it's just a really good design. I really do enjoy it. Um, again, I just wish that the material was a little bit better. So I guess if you're thinking about purchasing it, keep that in mind. The material is not that soft. Um, I did buy this a few months ago, so I don't know if they've come out with more material options. Maybe that's something that if you really can't get past, like, a, like, hear that sound? That's how it feels. Like, the sound is how it feels, if that makes sense. Um, if you can't get past the scratchy material, maybe wait and see if they come out with something that is softer. That's really the main thing that it's kind of hard to get past. Um, yeah, so, and especially if it's something that's like over $2,000, you really want to make sure it's something that you absolutely love. Um, for me, like, yeah, it's definitely annoying, but I'll just use the blankets to cover it up and I'll be okay with it. Um, but again, if it's something you really can't get past, I, I just wait, honestly, wait and see if they will come out with a softer material. I know there's also different brands that have, you know, similar, um, styles like this where it's not you know the pull out where you're pulling out like a metal stand it's just it folds onto the floor I don't know the names of them but if you just search like sofa like fold out beds I'm sure it'll come up um but those could be like a different option for you as well but all in all I I would recommend it and I would repurchase this if I were ever to need to I um, I just had a really good experience uh, purchasing from the company. It got here incredibly fast. It was very easy to put together and the bed itself, because that's the thing I'm honestly most worried about because like when guests come over, I want them to be comfortable. The bed is incredibly, incredibly soft. Um, so yeah, anyway, just let me know if you have any questions. I will try to answer them and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye!